Hey everyone and welcome back to the Azure Stack HCI FAQ series. Today I want to discuss with you the uh, question if we, if we can run Azure Stack HCI without any connection to Azure, just as a disconnected air gap scenario, um, like you know, maybe know it from Hyper-V or any other pure virtualization platform or Azure Stack Hub where you had the option to run connected or disconnected mode. So easy answer, at the moment, it's not possible to run Azure Stack HCI without any connection to Azure. At least any uh, 28 to 30 days, you need to connect to Azure, register and update uh, your registration with Azure. So that Azure Stack HCI can report uh, its current core count, license status, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to Azure for billing purposes. It's really just for billing purposes. It's not sending more information about uh, how you use it, etc. It's just how many VMs, how many licenses are used for the VMs, how many Kubernetes I'm running, how many core counts I have on the Kubernetes, how many core counts I have of the operating system, and other connected services. If you're not connecting to Azure, uh, to Azure in this time frame, you will not be able to spin up new workloads on your Azure Stack HCI. Your older workloads will still run, so it will still work, but you will not be able to create new virtual machines, create new Kubernetes uh, worker clusters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so now you're thinking, okay, I'm in a more restricted environment. I might be in a financial uh, sector or I may be a bit more military or I want to just restrict my internet connectivity from my manufacturing plants. What options do I have to avoid going through public internet for the registration? To be honest, not many. Um, you cannot use private endpoints. Yes, for Arc, there's a private endpoint you could uh, you could leverage for your Arc workloads. But Azure Stack registration is not within that private endpoint. So you will see some is issues when registering Azure Stack HCI for uh, or into uh, Azure. So there will be error messages. You cannot register. You're not finding the, your tenant, etc., etc. So that's not working with private endpoints. But what are our options? Do we have other options? Do we have opportunities we could leverage for the registration? And yes, there are some. It's a bit tweaking around, but it works the same like for other Microsoft services you want to maybe put on a VPN or want to put on a private express route. Let me show that to you. and from that po uh, and then you can s consider yourself if that's a solution for you or not okay what you see here is an architecture i've created several or two years ago one and a half or two years ago and i created it in the with Office 365 in mind, but it works for all other Microsoft services. So what you have here is, in my example, Azure Virtual Van, but it will work for any other self-hosted firewall in Azure, like, like a Palo Alto Network Virtual Appliance or Barracuda or Fortinet, or just a simple PFSense. So I've put my endpoint firewall into Azure. With that, every traffic will stay within the Microsoft backbone. So I'm using more or less Azure as my internet breakout to connect to other Microsoft services within the backbone. So everything is private communication. On my on-premises, I'm using a traditional uh, software-defined networking router. That router has a set based on, on, on services and with that set on services, I can say, okay, every Azure traffic 
will be routed to a specific gateway to a specific VPN tunnel. And now you have the option creating a VPN tunnel to Azure, like to Azure Virtual VAN, sending all these Azure traffic to Azure and then using the Azure Firewall or NVN8 breakout. Or you could use a Microsoft Express route either uh, with that solution with a firewall on private peering or to make it more simple you could use just Microsoft Express for public peering uh, or Microsoft peering how it's called nowadays that's a pretty simple solution but it's cost intense so just quickly summarize if you want to get it private, you could build a VPN tunnel between your on-premises in Azure and build and create a VP, uh, firewall in Azure, either as a managed service, or you build yourself and then route every Azure traffic to that firewall and break out within Azure. I will put you the figures in the description and so you can think around. Just leave me a comment if you have more questions, if you want to have a, a quick chat outside of YouTube, uh, just just ping me bin, b below and we will find uh, appropriate time slot solution, how we could talk to each other. Um, just to repeat the question, can I run Azure Stack HCI completely disconnected? No, it's not possible. You need to connect to Azure every 28 to 30 days for license reporting. Everything else it can run disconnected for the time outside of this registration cycle. And there are option to at least keep it as private as possible. So that's all from me today. Have a great one. Subscribe to the channel, leave us a like, leave us comments, questions, etc. We would try to keep this the frequent of one to two uh, F FAQs per week. Uh, but with that, I would require more of your questions to answer so that I also uh, that I re-answer the questions you you need and you want to be uh, want to hear and listen to. Have a great one. Bye.